Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I am Ashley. I'm homeschooling mom with seven kiddos, ranging in age from 12, um, so about seventh grade, going into seventh grade, um, down to 10 months. Um, okay, so we do the good and the beautiful for um, math, along with some other things, um, along with some other subjects, language arts. My baby's trying to, every video, I have a cat or a baby. My dogs don't come in here, so um, anyway. So um, we do the good and the beautiful for math. We do them for language arts. We do them for um, part of history or not um, history, science. Um, anyway, so I wanted to go over um, the math one, the new math one um, that has, this is my last one that I needed um, to complete the math. Uh, for all my kiddos this year. So my oldest um, does not do the good and the beautiful. Um, he is actually doing um, Matthew C. And I will link that too. That's, I kind of did a flip through on that. This will be our first year using that. But my other ones, so my incoming fourth grader, incoming first grader, incoming kindergartner, will all be using this one. So these are the new <clears throat> Simply Good and Beautiful Math. This is the level one that I just kind of wanted to flip through with you. If you are not familiar with them, I encourage you to give them a try. Um, they are Christian based, but it's non-denominational. So, um, you know, it references things, Christianity and things like that, but um, it's not like in your face. I, I feel like it's, it's adequate um, for the point that they want to get across. Now, these were released because the other um, additions, which we used um, last year and the year before, I think, for my younger kids, um, were, I think, a little bit lengthier than they wanted. It came with um, games. It came with manipulative pieces. It came with game cards. It came with so many other things. Um, and I think they wanted to just kind of condense all of this curriculum into a more simpler um, format. And they have done just that um, from what I have seen. So <clears throat> like I said, this is level one. So this will be used for my first grader. Um, you will have the table of contents in the front, obviously, and it has the course assessments goes up uh, to lesson 120, which 119 and 120 are both um, part of the course assessment has the hundreds chart here in case you need that. Some people have these things like laminated and hung up places. Um, gives you some frequently asked questions. How long the lessons are? You know, do I need anything extra? Um, unit one, I'm just going to show you at the beginning of each unit, it'll have a unit which lessons um, are going to be included in that unit. It'll go through the new concepts that are being taught. So in case there's things that um, maybe they're struggling with a little bit. Parent teacher tips, any extra supplies you might need, which this unit has none, um, which is kind of surprising because a lot of times you need a lot of extra stuff. Um, okay, so the lessons themselves, this, this is two pages, okay? So very straightforward. You have lesson one. Um, again, at the beginning of any curriculum, pretty much you will have um, kind of a review of things that you, um, they're expected to know, but in case, you know, if you take the summer off in case they need just like a little refresher. Um, so for example, this is identifying left and, uh, right and left, practicing items that aren't mastered, counting from 10 to 50, counting, um, by twos, counting by tens. Um, and so this actually is a little game here. So in the past, in the other editions, which they, um, you might still have these editions. I know they went on sale when they were getting rid of them to make room for these editions. Um, it totally fine. It is still the same teachings. It's just more um, with the others. If you have the time to devote to that and you have extra time where you can play all these extra games, then I encourage you to do that. But for people like me that have a lot of kids and a lot of kids in school, um, and just a crazy life, the simpler, the better, really. So this tells you the games are intertwined in these curriculums, in this math curriculum. 
um, play the game as many times as you want. Something very straightforward, very simple, not a whole lot of pieces like the other ones. Um, review, a little review section here, some little activities here. And then as you go further along, they have, let's see, I think it said through lesson 40. So they have the actual, I'm going to show you the uh, unit assessment. So this was after lesson 40. Um, parent teacher tells, kind of gives a um, kind of directions for the parent or the teacher. Um, additional practice if they need it, but this is going to go through each concept that they um, learned throughout this unit. And if they need additional practice, they have a little section here at the bottom for additional practice. So here's what they want you to want the kiddo to know. And then if they need anything extra, then you have your additional practice there. So that helps a lot in kind of understanding and knowing and, and splitting it up and seeing if there's anything that your kid is um, having trouble with specifically. So everything, like for example, this unit two overview, the only extra supply that's needed is a ruler. So this goes all the way through, and let me show you, let's see, a lesson that they would not be reviewing necessarily. Okay, so for example, um, let's see, estimating the number of objects in a group. This is lesson 77. So it tells you, tells the teacher or the parent what to do, and then um, gives directions here for this activity, and then a review to make sure that you know it, and then a game or a little activity here at the bottom. That is it for the course book. It is very simple. Um, the other um, edition had a large like cardboard box um, that was would kind of fall apart. Um, it had a lot of manipulatives, it had a lot of game pieces, it had a lot of cards, play cards, a lot to keep up with. Um, and so this is their with their new edition. So this has the little clock up front um, because that is a big concept that they'll be learning in first grade. Tells you what's included. Um, a left to right dice, standard dice, set of tangram and pattern block pieces, set of plastic coins, six clock manipulatives, and seven boat manipulatives. So when you open it up, it just slides down this way and everything is bagged and has its own little section. You could leave them in these baggies there. You can put them back in there and Ziploc it. Um, so it has all the pieces and that's that simple. So I am super excited for this math. I think it will take a lot of stress off of worrying if my younger kids um, can really stay put for an entire lesson. Um, this kid of mine that's going into first grade is one that had half a year of private preschool and then COVID and then I finished the rest of the year. Did kindergarten but struggled some with um, really wanting to sit down and actually do their work. So I'm hoping this will be fun enough but short enough. Um, she enjoyed the math but sometimes it was just a little bit too long and her attention span was just not there. So um, I'm very excited about this, but I just wanted to show you in case you were on the fence about this. It is very simple, very easy um, to, you know, to reference things and, you know, very small amount of pieces. So if you are on the fence about it, purchase it. Um, I do believe they, pro I, I want to say they have, um, I think they have the samples up online. Um, to where you can look and see, you know, do the do the um, assessments um, if you're unsure if you haven't used this curriculum before. I have found that it correlates with my kids' grade levels, if not a little bit higher. Um, so things that they have learned in this math curriculum, I find um, are kind of a little bit of faster pace, but they've been my other ones have been able to keep up with it. So um, I am looking forward to it. And um, hopefully this helped a little bit for you guys. This was the last one to be uh, released and it was the last one that I needed. So there's that. Um, all right, guys, if you have any questions um, or let me know how you like it, if you try it. And um, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know and I will see you guys next time. Bye.